start spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to be part of it New York, New York Hey everyone, this is going to be a spring and summer guide for visiting New York City. My parents were visiting recently and I took them to a bunch of different sites in the city and I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you a little bit of a travel guide for this time of year when it's nice and warm out. So we're starting with farmer's markets. This is the one that we went to in Union Square. I definitely recommend wandering around it. Another stop that we went to was Doe in Greenwich Village. This was one of the only times that I haven't seen a line there. It was amazing. It's an edible cookie dough place and you can get scoops of cookie dough. You can get cookie dough to take home. You can get some in cones. It's really, really good. I definitely recommend it. So that was our next stop. And then after that, we went to the Elizabeth Street Garden, which is a little bit less known. And it is a garden in Soho that has a lot of different statues in it. It's really nice. And I tend to see a lot of people go around lunchtime and just kind of sit and hang out and take a break. It's really beautiful. They are kind of worried about being shut down. So they have a petition. So if you happen to be going by, I would definitely encourage you to sign their petition to keep them going in Soho. It is a really nice little place and you don't see a lot of that kind of thing in the city. So this is definitely a little hidden gem, I would say. And then the next stop that we went was Prospect Park in Brooklyn. We did this all actually in one day. So we went over to Prospect Park. We just took the train and we kind of wandered around. I hadn't been to Prospect Park before and it was really beautiful. It's kind of like a not quite as maintained a central park and those are some turtles i wasn't sure if they were alive or not but they were definitely alive and we just kind of wandered around there's a zoo in prospect park that is a boathouse it's a really beautiful huge spacious park really nice around this time of year just to kind of get lost in to have a picnic what have you it's a really big beautiful space that's all the way out in brooklyn so that was kind of a fun area to check out definitely recommend it and we'll go back and then we went to dumbo that's a spot that you see a lot of people taking pictures we were by grimaldi's which is where we went for pizza and this has been around for a long long time um i believe it was some other building before i forget what it was but they have really amazing pizza it is cash only though and then another place that i've recommended in a lot of travel guides is the met this is just a really great place to go see some art you can pay whatever you want so you don't have to pay the full admission to get in also if you have a new york city id you can get a free one-year membership we looked at the fashion exhibit that they have going on right now they rotate it every year and then there's also another exhibit for a uh, famous photographer irving penn and he did a lot of um, work with vogue he was a vogue photographer for a long time so that's an exhibition that's going on right now and those are just a couple of things that i checked out um, when i went to the met so it's one that i recommend and it's really great if you're if it's a hot summer day and you just want to kind of take a break from the heat the Met is beautiful we also checked out the rooftop bar they have this open in the spring and summer I believe it will be open until either end of September or sometime in October it's really nice just to go grab a drink it's on the fifth floor and or you take the elevator up to the fifth floor and then you get out they have different art each year so they have these statues right now and you get a really beautiful view seeing all the buildings you're kind of above central park so you kind of have all that greenery to look at it's really nice and then another thing i love to do in the spring and summer is picnics in central park we were celebrating me finishing my master's so <laughs> nothing is classier than styrofoam cups with champagne obviously and then we went to cafe lalo after which is on the upper west side and it was in the movie you got mail and i just love this place i recently discovered it a few months ago i think it's a really nice place to go to for dessert and they have tons of different types of cakes and you can just sit there sometimes they'll have live music on this particular day they had someone playing keyboard and it's just a really nice spot to go have a drink or have dessert. You can see we were celebrating again with a little graduation duck. And my mom actually got up and sang with the guy. Well, she checked with him. Um, she was singing the song that she's going to sing for our first dance at our wedding. So, yeah, that is a spot that I really like going for dessert or drinks or just something in the evening. It's a really cute little spot. And then another place we went was New York Botanic Garden. And this is up in the Bronx. This place is really beautiful and spacious 
Also right now they have a Chihuly exhibition. This is a type of glass art, a particular artist, and it is really beautiful. It's kind of spread out all over the botanic garden, and there are a lot of different types of flowers that are in bloom right now. So if you go in this exhibition area, you will see a lot of the Chihuly art, and it's really amazing and incredible that they were able to do all this work and bring it over. And if you've been following me for a while, you may have seen that we went to the glass museum in Seattle that was in 2015 if you've been following me for a while I believe very impressive you remember that but we saw a bunch of this art when I surprised Joe for Valentine's Day and took him to Seattle so it was really cool to get to see it again and they had a lot of different pieces in this exhibition and it's going on for a long, long time um up until end of October so if you're going to be in the area I definitely recommend checking it out it's really beautiful and a really great spot to check out. And then finally, Rockefeller Center. I've mentioned this one before, but right now through June 2nd, they have a giant ballerina up for National Missing Children's Month, and it's really, really beautiful, so I highly recommend checking it out. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting some ideas for places to visit in New York City in the spring and summer. If you would like another exclusive just summer travel video, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to